Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. For those of you who are new, my name is Eva. And for those of you who are coming back, as always, thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to another MLM shit show. And today, as you can see for the title, we're back to talk about WFAB. And the very last video that I made on them was how they were using the war in Ukraine to promote Bitcoin, iGenius, WFAB, I mean their own group as well. Now just to put it out there, I don't have anything against Bitcoin or investment. If you know what you're investing into, if you know it's legit, especially Bitcoin, I have a lot of people who are trading and are earning really good money with trading Bitcoin and other currencies, I don't even know. And yeah, I almost invested in Bitcoin back when it was really cheap like 700 euro or something and I deeply regret for not going into it. I was advised by my brother to start doing it but I never did and oh my god if I did I would be financially free I guess. <laughs> I would have so much money. Uh, even though I don't think I would ever get to this point because if I bought bitcoin for like 700 euro or something and if it got up to like 2000 I would probably sell it. I would be one of those people who are just like oh my god this is great I'm just gonna sell that. <laughs> so yeah investment is definitely enough for me but yeah I don't have anything against bitcoin or trading or whatever. What bothers me is WFAB and iGenius I guess the whole company. I'm gonna make a video deep diving into iGenius itself, but this video is going to focus on WFAB, just them. Using this situation in Ukraine, which is still ongoing, unfortunately, I'm recording this at end of March. They're really, really out there um, using this to promote Bitcoin. They're not actually promoting Bitcoin, they are promoting themselves, their group, you should join us, whatever. And in my own opinion, they are in a pyramid scheme. So it's a big scam. Like I said, that's just my own opinion, but I'm pretty sure most of you are gonna agree. And by the way, if you don't know who WFAB is, that's a group of like top few Monet girls or Monate. I was watching a lot of Julie Joe's videos lately and she mentioned that Monet is not the correct way to pronounce it. Is that true? How <laughs> I've been mispronouncing it this whole time. I thought it was Monet. But yeah, I've heard some um, representatives saying Monat, Monet, whatever. I'm just probably gonna keep saying Monet. But anyway, yeah, so they were a few top girls in Monet and they formed this group WFAB. Then they had had some drama and then they decided to move from Monet to iGenius and it was very dramatic. If you missed somehow all of that, Diana Mims and Isabella Lanter made a lot of good videos covering that topic and their transition and everything. It was really, really messy. It's so worth a watch. Take a look at the graph, you know, drill, like, subscribe, join our little anti-MLM community over here. And yeah, I'm just gonna put a little disclaimer in here and let's just get into the video. It's so nice and sunny outside. I'm not joking. I haven't seen sun in so long. Well, I mean, I went to London recently and it was really sunny, but Ireland hasn't had sun in so long. And today, such a gorgeous day. So I went for a walk. I did my 10k steps. Well, 9,100 steps. I did my shopping as well, food shopping. And yeah, now I'm just ready to spend the rest of the day recording the videos. <laughs> How do you spend your free time? Because this is literally what I do in my free time. Um, I'm also wearing this cute shirt from Teddy Fresh. How freaking gorgeous is that? It's so pretty. It has all those spring vibes. Let's, let's just get into this mess. You guys, just got home from the gym and I have a story for you. I was at the gym wearing this sweater that says, I'm making money as you're reading this, ask me how. And I had a gentleman come up to me and be like, how are you making money right now? And I told him that I trade in the financial markets and I teach people how to get involved. And he's like, okay, what, like crypto? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, awesome. He's like, I actually have some investments in crypto. He's like, I love that I'm seeing a woman who's actually getting involved in the cryptocurrency world. That's pretty huge. And, you know, we started talking and I kind of asked, like, what kind of investments do you have? Like, what do you do? Um, and he was pretty intrigued by the information that I was sharing with him also about the artificial intelligence service that I use in my company that's a third party platform to iGenius. And he's like, I don't know if I believe in artificial intelligence. And I'm like, okay, let me ask you a question. I'm like, do you use GPS? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, GPS is artificial intelligence for, you know, your travels. If you're going from place to place and you get stuck in traffic, you wouldn't know. 
you're not using GPS, you wouldn't know if there's a massive accident, a traffic, construction, etc. ahead on your route unless you're dead stuck in that traffic or accident, right? And that's what your GPS is used for. It's used to better your travels to make sure that you're finding the best destination and route in order to help you get to your destination faster. Now, it's similar in terms of the artificial intelligence that we use on our platform with Endotech for helping you in terms of analyzing the markets. A person doesn't have the time, unless you're a broker, right? Even a broker doesn't have the time to learn absolutely everything about what's going on in the markets every single second, but a computer is so much smarter than a human. So what this platform and technology does is help you get a better understanding of when the markets are going up, when the markets are going down, and how to invest accordingly. And I thought it's a really smart tool to be using, especially if you don't want to miss the boat on crypto, but want to, want to get involved, or even somebody who's a beginner that doesn't know much about it, it gives you all the information you need. First of all, when they wear those cringy shirts and hoodies, I'm earning money as you're reading this, ask me how. That is just such a desperate cry for help. I hate that. I mean, I don't know who thought of it, but it's so cringy. The person who asks her, he actually like has some investments and then there goes a hun from a pyramid scheme straight from the top of the pyramid scheme being like, you should use this artificial intelligence. I love how he said, I don't believe in artificial intelligence. He probably didn't mean like, I don't believe all artificial intelligence. He just probably thought, I don't believe you because that sounds shady, which it is. They do like to say, oh, I earn so much money. They're not allowed to say that, but they say, I earn so much money and artificial intelligence is doing the job for me. And it's like, that can't do the job for you. I think we had a horror story before where the dude said he was using that artificial intelligence to trade for him and some kind of error happened and it like invested all of his money into something that and then he just lost a lot of money anyway. So you can't really trust the artificial intelligence 100% but also you can't like they like to promote this as you don't have to know anything about trading or cryptocurrencies. You don't have to be an expert. This artificial intelligence is gonna do everything for you and it's like first of all like I said you can't trust it to do everything for you right you have to at least like check up on it see what's going on see if you need to redo something that it's done you know you c it's not how it sounds so I, I do firmly believe that the dude was like nah girl you're shady I, I don't believe in AI it's just leave me alone. <laughs> so next coming up on her stories was investment idea Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a great hedge against fiat currency and it has a limited supplies. Bitcoin is slowly heading into the mainstream. It's protected from government fiscal measurements. Could become the new gold as a store of value. And then another story. Another thing I actually want to mention in terms of cryptocurrency, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but some something that i don't necessarily love in terms of traditional banking systems um and you know how how things have been going especially with the world of today is that it can be easily manipulated by a higher power politicians etc the fact that you know your government is able to freeze your account or not allow you to take out funds or go to your bank and use that hard money that hard-earned money that you've been working for every single day is a huge red 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 flag to me Right. So I love the fact that crypto is decentralized and it's not run or owned by any government organization. And to me, that's a huge deal, especially because if I'm investing and, and using my hard earned money from other businesses to invest, I want to make sure that I'm calling the shots, not somebody else who's, you know, can dip into my wallet and kind of control my finances. So crypto is a massive wealth reset for a lot of generations. And I'm kind of curious out of my following who is already investing in cryptocurrencies. Um, you know, because the way that I look at it with the bank, with a traditional, you know, savings account, you're getting 0.01% back yearly. Doesn't matter if you have $600 in that bank account or a million in that bank account. Now, with the cryptocurrency, obviously the market is always fluctuating, but some are growing 20% a day. 20% a day when you're getting 0.01% in your accounts, right? So, in my eyes, obviously not taking a risk is a risk on its own. And I'd rather be in full control of my finances versus, you know, giving my money into the bank, them taking my money and trading it in the financial markets to make a bigger and better profit for themselves while they're 
and giving me 0.01% back, right? So that's just something to think about. So I'm curious of how many of you guys are already getting involved in the crypto wave and starting investing and growing. So this girl, when she talks, she sounds like she knows what she's talking about, right? And yeah, I do agree. That's all great um, about Bitcoin, but the banks are obviously, the way it all functions, it's not the best, okay? But it is what it is. I mean, I know a lot of people who don't hold their money in the banks anymore as well. And that's fine. You know, do whatever you want with your money. Again, this is a MLM hun, okay? A WFAB hun coming straight from Monet into cryptocurrencies. So if you want to invest, go into it yourself. Find someone that you know is reliable and that is not in a pyramid scheme, in my own opinion. You have to look at the graphs. You have to follow the market every day. You have to know what you're doing. There is no AI, as far as I know, I mean, I'm not an investor, so I don't know, but what I've heard from other people is there is no AI out there that's going to do the trading for you properly. You need to have knowledge on it. You need to know what you're investing in. Sure, if you have money to burn, you can go try it out. I know people who also did it. They just had some money to burn. They didn't really investigate anything. They invested into Bitcoin and now they have loads of money, of course. This is a W Fab girl who's only trying to recruit you into her pyramid scheme, in my own opinion, again, allegedly, whatever. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't trust her. I wouldn't I wouldn't join her team if I was you. If you're thinking about it, just please be aware of this group, okay? Um there's another one regarding Ukraine. Over five million dollars in Bitcoin has been donated to the Ukrainian military following the Russian invasion, which again, it's great that people are donating money, Bitcoin, whatever they can to help. It's amazing that they're doing that, but I'm really annoyed that these WFAB girls are just using like, okay, did you donate over five million dollars in Bitcoin? Did your company do it? Did iGenius do it? No. So why? Like the way they're talking about it is as if I'm investing in Bitcoin. This is so great, you know, look what Bitcoin did. And they're kind of acting like other people did it with Bitcoin. Bitcoin, so we did it as well. Taking the prize for something that they didn't do. I would love to see if any of these WFAB girls try to donate anything to Ukraine to help it. I, I bet most of them didn't. Next one. Seriously, you guys need this Dyson blow dryer. It has three attachments. It's got a diffuser for curly hair women. Uh, my mom has really like crazy curls. And she said it's the best diffuser she's ever used in her life. I don't have curly hair. I just have lots of hair. Um, but I love it because when I use it, it is like, it makes it so my hair. Okay, so just, I want to stop you guys right there. We do this all the time. We always share things that we love. This is social selling for free, okay? You guys do not get paid. I'm not getting paid or getting a referral bonus are compensated for sending all my friends and followers to Dyson to go buy a $500 blow dryer. We do it all the time. We do it with our Starbucks, coffee, food. We refer people to mechanics. Like I'm telling you, it does not end. Okay, I always tell everyone, if I got paid for every time I referred someone to my hairdresser, I would literally have free hair for life, but that is just not how the world works. But in, in, in network marketing, some people call it affiliate marketing, social selling. That's all you're doing is you're socially selling and sh well, sharing something with not just your friends, but with your followers, with people that you meet, your networker. When you find something that you love, you know us, especially as women, we cannot keep our mouth shut. We share it with anybody, anything that we love, a guy, a girl, um, you know, clothing, that restaurant, we are sharing it with everybody. It's the same when you find a product that you are loving or a service, you decide, you know what, I'm going to share it with the people I love because I love it. And then you get compensated for it. That's exactly what we're doing now. It doesn't matter how many people you refer with, you can still get referral bonuses. Um, for doing that. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Social selling, social sharing 101. Okay. So this is actually one of those girls that used the situation in Ukraine, 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 Ukraine. I pronounce it differently every time I say it. I don't know which one's Ukrainian though. Ukraine? 
So she was the one that was very, very vocal um, that I covered in my very first video about WFAB um, that was using the war, like I just said, to promote Bitcoin. However, again, she's not promoting Bitcoin. She's promoting WFAB. She wants people to ask her, what are you doing? What is this? Can I join? Of course. But again, social selling, don't share. Guys, guys, don't share anything that you like if you're not getting paid for that. That's just a stupid mentality. I don't know. Like it, it just doesn't make any sense for me. You can't get paid for everything that you use. Like she's talking about a hairdryer and she's an eye genius. So what are you saying? Are you not gonna promote the hairdryer? If like, like you're not gonna tell anyone, hey, this is a really good hairdryer. Just because you're not getting paid, you shouldn't say that something's nice and good yeah, unless you're getting paid to say that. I mean, whatever. It's just stupid. Let's move on. Right, this is so funny. First of all, it's so strange to me how they're all cheering for Jesse Lee as if I don't know who came through the door, Jesus Christ himself. They keep saying she's the number one network marketer in the world and Jesse Lee is not the number one network marketer in the world. She's self-proclaimed number one marketer in the whole world, but she's not. She's like 600 and something. So she came to a mastermind whatever you call that gathering whatever and all of the wfab girls were there as well so jesse lee ho held a speech um and i haven't done a video on jesse lee at all yet but it's it's gonna it's gonna come i think it's about time for me to dug into jesse lee a bit i need to have at least like one or two videos on her as well i think it's just appropriate and moving on Don't say that. So the caption says, when people say, why would I buy an NFT when I can just screenshot it? I think there's another one of her where she's kind of like throwing shade on Isabella Lanter. Oh yeah, I have it here. Wait, is this fucking play about us? So the caption says, when you come across an anti-MLMers page and they have no idea how much business they've given us because of this exposure. Ah, I love that so much. Um, first of all, most of the people that watch anti-MLM content are anti-MLMers already. I guess publicity is publicity. So if people do go on to watch the videos, the reels, whatever themselves, it does give them traffic. Guess what? It doesn't matter because we're out here trying to educate people people on your shady business so yeah i mean you doing stuff like this also gives anti-mlmers publicity and the whole community the anti-mlm community which i i think there's probably a lot of people out there who are a part of an mlm and they are not even aware that there's a whole anti-mlm community so you posting stuff like this also gives anti-mlm exposure as well so thanks for that next one it's so sad to see the world and wars going on but what i love is genuine way to support without a political blockage and then patreon just blocked 250k dollars donated to ukraine meanwhile four million dollars in bitcoin have been sent over bitcoin can't be blocked this has nothing to do with wfab or igenius it bit it's bitcoin it's not wfab or igenius and it just bothers me the way they're acting as if it's the same thing next one is another of our favorite top girls who i've never made a video about yet but maybe soon so she's enjoying her life on a yak. The caption says, when people say network marketing doesn't work, and the caption says, I worked my ass off for two years to be able to do this full time. I've earned three free incentive trips and created a life I'm in control of. Nah, it doesn't work for you because you don't work. Oh, of course, the usual victim blaming. This is the fairest paid industry I know of. Fairest pay industry. 
percent of people are losing money it pays you exactly what you produce no it doesn't not what you say you're gonna do but what you actually do based on successful sales efforts again there's so many people out there who are hustling day night day night every day in and out hustling cold messaging trying to get people to join them trying to sell going on all the trainings and everything and they just don't get paid because it's oversaturated and the business model is unethically made so that people lose money so you're not getting paid for the amount of effort or work you put into with MLM. That's just bullshit. That's just not true. By all means, it's not for everyone. Entrepreneurship, leadership, business is not for everyone. So if it's not for you, just say that. Leave me and mine alone because we out here living though. Living based on the people below you losing money, but everyone's different. Some people can sleep calmly at night knowing that they're scamming a bunch of people and they have their luxurious life thanks to all of the people people below them that are losing money let's just move on this one says how do i start decide which membership you want we create an account for you to get started you gain access to the services education and our entire platform i will personally guide you through everything else customer or distributor a customer is someone who uses the services for trading and investing a distributor is someone who uses the services does trading and investing and also does marketing and starts a business through this platform it's totally up to you what you want to do is this something for me if you're sick and tired of working a nine to five paycheck to paycheck and not getting enough paid for all the eff work and effort you put in you need to change and are willing to work for it willing to invest in yourself your future and pay from 300 to $1,500 depending on which membership. This is insane. $1,500 and we've seen a lot of network marketing coaches by now and they always tell people on these conferences and conventions that yeah you should definitely go with the most expensive kit because that means you're serious about this work and what you invest is what you're gonna get back so they're, they're always gonna try to brainwash people to pay the most amount of money. You want to work remotely you want to learn how to invest grow and manage your money you're dedicated and hungry for a new opportunity and then you're 18 plus again there's a lot of jobs out there where you can work remotely again there's a lot of jobs out there that are worse than a nine to five so i'll never understand the bashing of a nine to five so what does this opportunity give you freedom being able to work from anywhere education about the financial markets access to expert system and the latest technology on the market artificial Artificial intelligence automation multiple income streams community of like-minded people so this year I made it mandatory for myself to learn how to invest and share it with others through social selling the world is changing fast and you must adapt if you want to get ahead the reality of it is some understand but many won't because they are too attached to the traditional ways of how the economy works and do what the majority do here's an example of what jobs may be replaced based on the nature and types of these jobs here's a rundown of jobs that ai machines are most likely to perform in the future customer service executives bookkeeping and data entry receptionists proofreading manufacturing and pharmaceutical work retail services courier services doctors i don't think that's happening anytime soon global sales through social media platforms were estimated at 560 billion us dollars in 2020 online purchases through this channel will become even more popular in the future forecasts suggest that the value of social commerce sales would reach around 2.9 trillion us dollars by 2026 with where the social selling industry is headed and with technology taking over and the world constantly evolving multiple jobs are being replaced by artificial intelligence have you ever shared a restaurant you went to referred friends to netflix series tagged the shop of where you purchase your clothes congrats your social selling only for free and with the direction the world is headed social selling quickly is becoming the norm and is something i recommend taking advantage of here's why okay i just want to say there again with the social selling it's great that you can get paid for um advertising stuff online sure that's what i'm doing on instagram as well like i'm not getting any crazy money but i do have an ambassadorship where i get certain perks for advertising them on my ig profile but again 
just the mentality that they go with is don't talk about anything that you're not getting paid to talk about. It's crazy. Like, why wouldn't you be able to share your opinions and give like a proper genuine review about something or help a friend by recommending a good product? It, like, you shouldn't do that if you're not getting paid for it. That's just crazy. And then they said, oh, people who don't like MLMs or whatever, they are too traditional. They just follow whatever what everyone else is doing. I'm all for for untraditional jobs. Of course, it would be great that you don't have to work a nine to five. Like some people enjoy their nine to five. Some people enjoy the traditional work. So as long as you're happy with where you are, there's no need to change, you know, just because some MLM hun is telling you that's not right. I went from retail to technical advisor because I didn't want to work with people anymore. I still kind of work with people, but not really. I'm more behind the scenes, fixing problems, stuff like that. So this is something that I want and of course it's good to have a hustle on the side where you can earn any extra money, stuff like that, but MLMs are not the answer. MLMs are definitely not the answer because you're not gonna get any money with them. You have 99% of chances of failure. So anyways, so now that you've gotten to know me a little bit, the one thing I always get asked is, so what do you do? Let me break it down for you. I social sell and invest. Don't know what that means. Perfect. Let me explain. I want to start the business and make money, but I don't want to pay for anything. Here's the thing. Nothing that has real value is going to be given away for free. If you want to real change in your life, you need to be ready to invest in yourself. Also, compared to starting any other type of business, my lash extension business cost me about 20k to start. This fee is quite affordable. <laughs> quite? 20k is not affordable for everyone. Like, are you a little bit detached from reality, I guess? The knowledge you have right now got you to where you are in this moment. However, what you know right now won't take you to the next level. Read that again. Oh, wow, I'm just so mind blown by this. The last post is saying, am I missing something here? Why is this so hard to believe? We are living in a digital era. It's not that complicated, friends. The only thing I knew about crypto was that I wanted to tap into this market, but knew zero about how to make that happen. Still don't know anything about trading crypto, but was able to get into this market by leveraging an artificial intelligence system smarter than I could ever be. And I'm beyond happy with my decision. My portfolio is growing quite nice. DM me info to find out more about this system. So this is what pisses me off again. Like I still don't know anything about trading crypto and you can get this artificial intelligence. You don't have to know anything. You don't have to get have any expertise or knowledge. This AI is just going to do everything for you and you're going to get rich, which is it's not how it works. You can't rely on AI 100%. If you're going into investment, you need to know what you're doing, what you should invest into, what you you have the most chances of getting your investment back, stuff like that. That's all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. We're gonna dive into WFAB a little bit more in the future as well, into iGenius. I'll work on it, I promise. It's it's coming in the future. And yeah, as always, thank you to all of you nice people who are supporting me. If you're not coming from my social media, feel free to check me out. I'm gonna link my Instagram down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.